Hey Taurus, it's Suzanne here to do, um, I'm actually doing a third reading for you this week. Uh, you know, your reading that I did yesterday, which I actually haven't posted yet, I'm going to post today with this one, um, you know, was, I feel like it was very, it was a very challenging reading for me and that's, you know, when I decided to stop. So I really wanted to see, you know, do we get roughly the same thing for you or, you know, was was that an anomaly or something that, you know, you guys really needed to hear? I don't know. So I wanted to do another one for you. So that's what we're going to do. Because... You know, definitely that reading was for somebody or a few people, but I felt like, you know, I was, I might not have been tapping into the higher collective. So again, we're going to look at the Lenormand cards at the end, and we're going to look at the feelings um, of your person right now. And the first... The first three cards is what they're showing you or what you actually know or what you're seeing from them already, which might be nothing. So you have the benefit of the fact that, you know, I've done all of the readings, okay? So I know what has been coming up over here and, you know, I've seen the fool practically you know, in at least half or more of the readings up here, I've seen a lot of the Four of Pentacles. I've seen a lot of the Four of Cups up here. Okay, so we'll see what we get for your second hidden feelings and intuition reading. All right, so we have Seven of Pentacles. What am I telling you, man? Look at that. The fool has come up. It's incredible. And the four of cups. Okay? So I told you ahead of time before we even turned over these cards. All right? So, all right. So this means that, you know, I feel like this reading is going to be a little bit different. Okay? All right. So seven of pentacles, um, you know, your person... You know, I feel like, but this again, okay, I will say what's consistent here with a lot of the readings for this hidden reading, reading series is that this is very quiet energy, okay? This person could either be with the Seven of Pentacles looking over the past, looking what, you know, has happened in their life so far because they're asking what's next. They might have asked you what's next between the two of you, okay? With this Fool card here, I'm reading this Fool card in these readings as you seeing them as a bit of a fool, okay? Like they're not, um, you know, that they might be just a little bit awkward. They might not be... Um, they might be doing something risky outside of the connection, okay? You see them as a fool in some way, possibly because they aren't expressing their feelings. Four of Cups tells me that, you know, I do like this Four of Cups because this guy here is actually holding his Ace of Cups, okay? But he's being very quiet about it. And, you know, this card can mean that somebody here, this person is looking at this connection from a negative standpoint or, you know, like the glass is half empty. But I'm reading this more in these readings as, you know, this person, you know, might feel rejected by you, even though you might have done nothing. You know, some people reject themselves before they even give the other person a chance to do it. And that could be this too. This person could be kind of self-rejecting themselves, um, you know, and of course you're seeing them as a little bit foolish for doing that. So this person, you know, even though they might somehow feel rejected, this person could have, 
you know, just is not talking to you about it. So let's see what's underneath what they're presenting here. Seven of Pentacles clarified by Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person is telling themselves, oh, that glare is just. Um, this person is telling themselves stories where they're highlighting themselves as the bad guy, I think. You know, and I don't really feel, I, this is my least favorite card in the deck because it's really not based in anything factual. It just isn't. You know, it's like creating worst case scenarios for, you know, for yourself or for the connection. And it's like, why would you choose to do that? But everybody does it from time to time. And it's not a good energy to be in. And and hangman, yeah. So, you know, this person, instead of focusing on their feelings, they're focusing on, you know, what they might have done wrong or what they see themselves doing wrong in the connection. It's almost like they don't want to feel it. If they feel those feelings, they're going to feel regret or feel rejected. But I feel like this person at the same time, which is a positive thing, is trying trying to get themselves out of this Nine of Swords and looking at things from a different perspective. Three of Cups. Okay, so... It's like the different perspective that they have to take is they, they know that they need to be able to trust in others. They need to be able to be happy around other people, around you. Like they need to show their happier, their happier side and then trust that others will be happy around them. You know, this person might be kind of a brooder, you know, or moody. And that could be part of why you see them as a fool. You know, you might have had the thought, you know, why are you in such a mood? <laughs> like, what's there to be so moody about, right? Fool. Clarified by Ten of Cups. All right. So... I have seen the Ten of Cups quite a bit on this side as well. So this person has a lot of emotion for you, and I feel like they're they're getting ready to, you know, take a leap of faith and possibly express that because that could be why they're a little bit clumsy or a little bit awkward because they know they're getting ready to do this. And you can see a little bit of the progression right here. You know, this person is asking what's next, and then they're beating themselves up about possibly what happened in the past. They're gaining a new perspective and know that in order for love and emotion to come in, you do have to trust that it will. You do have to trust and be, you know, a happy version of yourself. Nobody's going to draw in love, you know, being in a bad mood all the time, right? So, Ten of Cups, and then Son of a Gun. There's that Four of Swords. Four of Swords, Four of Cups. I told you that in practically every single reading, except your original reading, <laughs> um, I've been seeing the Fool, the Four of Swords, and Four of Cups in the feelings. So, Four of Swords tells me that you know, this person, while they might be getting ready to, you know, present something to you or present their feelings to you, they're, they're going to overthink it a little bit. Um, they might overthink it before they do it. They might overthink it after they do it. But we know that that person or this person has that tendency with the nine of swords. Okay. We know that they have a tendency to possibly be very self-critical about things that they've done in in their past okay 
So they, this person is somebody that focuses on the mistakes that they've made in the past versus the wins that they've had, which causes this person not to be the happiest person all the time. Five of Cups. Yep. So I feel like they're going to do something that they're going to beat themselves up over when it comes to expressing some feelings they have for you. And eventually they're going to beat themselves up with this five of cups here. They're going to feel some sadness around it before I feel like you might even give them validation on, on your feelings. You know, they might feel like they didn't go about it in the right way or they said the wrong thing. This is a challenging person, Taurus, that you are dealing with. Um, you know, and I say challenging in that they are so hard on themselves. That's how you can recognize if this is your reading. And you would know that. You would know that this person may not have a ton of confidence in themselves. Um, they, really, uh, they really are very, very hard on themselves. Four of Cups. Let's see. Whoops. Ten of Wands. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a burden. It takes much more energy to look at things from a negative standpoint than it does from a higher, lighter, happier standpoint. It does. And a lot of people will say, oh, no, it's the reverse. It's much easier to be moody and negative. It really isn't. And if you feel that way, then there's a problem. If you feel like being negative is your natural state, that's, you know, then you're carrying around a lot of heavy energy. And that's what's going on with this person. Ten of Wands. It's a burden for them, whether they know it or not, to be as moody and dark and not happy. Two of Wands. Okay. Better. Two of Wands says that they, they know how they feel and they know the direction that they want to go in when it comes to you. Okay. Over here... You know, there's, it, depending on how this goes, Ten of Cups full, them actually taking a risk and doing something about their feelings, you know, will depend on what happens here. Four of Swords, Five of Cups. Okay? So if they feel like, you know, they pulled it off, they did it well, you know, they got a good response from you, great. I, I You know, there's a really good chance this can go well. But if they feel like they didn't do it right or they didn't say something right or they made a fool of themselves in some way, they're going to put themselves through this all over again. But they know the direction that they want to go in, which is Ace of Cups. There we go. All right. All right, so intuition. What is this person's intuition telling them? Okay, or nudging them to do? Oh my God. So, you know, and I wish I had said it before I even turned it over, but if you go in and you watch or cross-watch any of the other readings, there's got to be at least five or six readings where the Ten of Pentacles comes out in this first spot. This person's intuition is saying they can have everything with you. And that's why I feel like this person could be carrying such a heavy energy. They want to unwrap the gifts of this connection with you. Okay, and each of those gifts, you know, represents, you know, having a, an abundant family, an abundant connection, abundant love, 
you know, abundance in finance and career. It's like, that's why this energy is so heavy. And then we have the five of swords. Did we see that here? No. No, we didn't. Okay. So this person is saying, their intuition is saying, why fight this? Why fight this, you know, this beautiful energy here, right here, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Fool. Why fight it? Why fight what your intuition is telling you you can have? And then Eight of Pentacles. This can work. This person knows intuitively that this connection can work. All right? But, and, your, and their intuition is also saying, don't spend so much time worried about what could go wrong. Instead, focus on this. All right, so this Five of Swords clarified by the King of Wands, which is, it's like, if this person would just be in their most confident self, they would have no worries. They would have no worries going towards what they know can work. And it's like, this person basically, King of Wands is also about maintaining integrity. So if they would listen to, you know, what they feel the integrity of this connection is, they would have no problem. Nine of Wands. But they're suspicious and cautious of, of moving forward. One more. All right, so we have the, let's see, sometimes I get those two confused. Yeah, this is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is always about authenticity. It's like if this person it decides to be authentically who they are, which King of Wands, you know, could be, I feel like this person has a lot of confidence underneath all of this brooding. Like they used to be that way. And maybe life kind of beat them down a little bit, beat down their confidence. It's like, it's like everything is right here for them. So it's like saying, be who you authentically are and this cautiousness and suspiciousness will go away because this this is somebody that I feel could be you know worried about what other people think as well yeah all right so let's see Lenormand all right, so we have the dog, we have the key, and we have love, we have the bouquet, which is love and romance. So we have a loyal heart here and love and romance here, and then in the middle we have the key. So, you know, this person holds the key. They can decide to go through the door or not go through the door, you know, and I feel like we're, we're seeing that throughout the reading. It's like, if you take the key, open the door, you know, and express your loyal heart, there's beautiful love and romance waiting for them. But if they throw the key away, you know, it's like, it's like you can't connect this loyal heart with love and romance. So this person has the key to this Ten of Pentacles with you. And it's whether or not they choose to use it. We have Ten of Cups in this reading. That's emotional, complete emotional fulfillment. We have the Ace of Cups, which is, you know, a cup of, they have a cup of love for you. 
we have Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance in everything in life. And their intuition is saying, don't fight it. All right. That is what I have for you, Taurus, for the second reading. And I will tell you that there is definitely a similar energy in this, but I feel like, you know, this allowed you to possibly go a little bit deeper and get to the root of it. I didn't feel like we, you know, it was a tough reading, the, the original reading. All right, that's what I have for you. I will talk to you next week. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.